right, so within our website, we have our course guide and all holes. And because we're using ACF, we're populating the same template for every hole. It doesn't matter on our course, our single items here for this custom post type, they all have the same layout. So what we've done is when I go and edit this hole, we're currently using a pattern. And that pattern on the page there all looks fine. But the issue that I'm noticing with my team and also for myself is sometimes the update process can be confusing. So you look at this page, it looks like just a normal editor. I click update and then it says save pattern. So you click save and then it says site updated. But if I would have edited anything else in this meta area down here, so let's just say this is, you know, hole 18 on Parks Golf Course, something like that, right? So let's just say that's my meta description. And then I click update. Well, now that's updated, but you know, it, it didn't update anything before. So now the hole's updated. So as soon as I click within this area and make a change, so if I say whole index, because that's not the slope rating, slope rating's for everything. So I'm gonna say whole index and then click update. It asks me to update the pattern. When I click save there, that has just updated the pattern. It hasn't updated this particular post. So this can get confusing for users because also people might think, oh, if I edit this content here, which is actually dynamic content, that's going to change this particular part to say, let's say it's a par six. You know, although there isn't par sixes, let's just say there is. If I go and type six there and decouple this from its dynamic field, all of a sudden, every single hole says that even though it, it's, you know, it's not, it's meant to be a dynamic field. So this gets confusing. It's even confusing to explain it to people. But thankfully, Cadence has a feature that's really gonna help us out here. So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is convert this pattern to a template within Cadence custom elements. And then we're gonna turn off the editor entirely within here and just show the form for the ACF fields and the Yoast data. And that will make managing these holes into the future much easier. So to do this, the first thing we have to do is go to Appearance, Elements. Now, you have to make sure that this is turned on. So if you don't have this available, go to Cadence. And again, this is a Cadence Pro feature. And make sure that Hooked Elements is enabled. And that will then have this Elements item appear for you. So within Elements, we want to say add new by clicking the add new next to elements. And when this opens up, it says we can make a template. Inside here, we're going to say single hole layout, just like that. Now within here, because we've already made our pattern that has all our ACF fields all dynamically mapped, we're gonna put that into the page. But once it's inside of here, we click on that single hole layout and I click on the three dots at the end of that and we're gonna say detach pattern. What that does is detaches the pattern from this particular post. And that means that as far as the post is concerned, the single hole layout is not there anymore. So I click publish like that and now this layout is no longer required in the individual pages. It'll be overwritten by this one. So next what I have to do is make sure that this here, so just to make sure that that's showing up, we're gonna take that out of there. So now it just says index, okay? And then I click update, and again, it still wants to do the pattern, but we're just gonna update that element layout there. So now we know if it says whole index, it's using the pattern. If it just says index, it's using the template. So now we've got that update. We click here on the element settings and this says template and the placement needs to say replace single post content. So all the content will be replaced with this template. The display setting then changes here and we're going to have that one be single holes. 
So now this template is just used on single holes. You can also select by which sort of template you want. So if you wanted to do you know, multiple template layouts based on some sort of attribute, you can do that. And then I just click update. Again, uncheck the single hole pattern. We don't want to update that and push that button. Okay, so now we have a decoupled layout. It's not using the pattern anymore and we've assigned it as a template. All the dynamic fields are mapped. They're all there. They're all working as we want them to. So next up, let's go to our course guide. And we're gonna view hole 18. And we can see here that we have index. It doesn't say hole index. So we can see the content is being taken over by my new template. Now, to finish off what we're doing here, we need to go and make some adjustments in advanced custom fields. And inside there, we're going to turn off the ability for somebody to edit certain elements within ACF. So let's go to post types first. And inside our whole post type, we go to edit. And then inside of here, we click on REST API and you turn off showing REST API. This stops the block editor working. And then permissions, URLs, everything there stays the same, except on general here. And we're gonna uncheck editor. So we've got the title, featured, excerpt, the editor is off. And then I click save changes, just like that. Great. Now let's go back to our course guide and we're going to edit hole 18. Now we have Yoast up the top and then I have my hole details. I can drag those around if I want to make adjustments there. All right, so here we no longer have the editor. All those different settings for blocks and things like that are gone because all I really need to do is fill out this form and that will populate my template that's now coming from Cadence Elements. I've got my Yoast SEO settings, all those are okay. Um, we're not really using them on these, so I may end up turning that off. Excerpt, we used that on our archive listing page and the slug, and that's all I need. So when I view this hole, you'll see that it's still got everything there. It's got the index, it's got all the data, everything's still working because this is now being populated by my Cadence element template. So that certainly makes it much easier when it comes to managing your custom fields um, and these kinds of post types where you don't want to enable the block editor. You want to have a fixed layout. You want people to, to focus on a data-based form that's just all about selecting options and things like that. And of course, you can apply those templates with different conditions. But this then means that if I update my element, it'll update on every single page that it's associated with. And I no longer have to worry about synchronizing patterns and some of that confusing save process. I think it's an amazing reason to upgrade to Cadence Pro from Cadence Normal because you only get the elements with Cadence Pro. It's one of the big reasons why we upgraded to Cadence Pro is this along with dark mode and other great features. So I hope that helps you on your journey making great WordPress websites and I hope you can make use of these templates with your advanced custom fields and custom post types to make your database management easier, this data management easier and also the management of your WordPress websites. So an important point to consider before you go any further is with the REST API toggle, it controls other things other than the editor. So inside ACF post types, if you turn off the REST API within this post type area under the advanced settings, so it's this one here showing REST API like that, and then I click save changes. Then when I go over to the elements area, and if I look at, for example, uh, this course navigation element that I have, what will happen here is within the editor and the display settings, all of a sudden, the post type won't show up anymore. So I cannot target that post type any longer. It just disappears. And this means that 
all, a lot of those features for cadence elements may end up breaking. Now you can assign it and then turn it off afterwards um, and it seems to still work okay. But it is important to notice that because these different sidebar elements within Cadence Elements are all powered by the REST API, those features will stop working once you turn off that REST API because it's all hidden to the API. Um, and there is no granular control right now within PostType's REST API to be able to control that at any other level. So it's something to keep in mind that you need to allocate your template first before you turn off the post building abilities and the editor ability within the, that ACF post type. Otherwise, you might not be able to allocate your template. For more tips like this, why don't you give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else you want to know, make sure you leave a comment below on this video. Let me know what you want to know and I'll make a video about it and I'll see you in the next video.